Hey there, Creepy Collectors. How's it going? It's Douglas here at Drown Boy Productions, bringing you a very special vlog. Today, we're going to be checking out Spirit Halloween, and then after that, we're going to finally go see Halloween Ends. Today is the premiere, and we're going to be seeing the very first showing that our theater has to offer, so can't wait to check that out. But we're going to go check out Spirit first and see if they happen to have any of the killer clown stuff or ghost face stuff or maybe anything else. Let's just go see. Danny with Banks, but still no black light killer clown. Mm -hmm. Thinking about getting one of these hats. Mm -hmm. It is very nice. No. Well, no glow in the dark ghost face masks yet, but they do have this shirt. This guy is really cool. I don't think we've seen him at any other locations. No, the possessed pumpkin. I really like this Sam hat. I kind of want to get it for work because it's black. It wouldn't show. It's got the type of back that you like as well. The adjustable back. And they do have some new killer clown stuff. Got the spiky side stepper, slim, the acid pies. Definitely got to get one of these. Can you hold on to this for me, Jim? Is it soft? <laughs> it's unfortunate Spikey's not working. I think it's actually common. I've seen online people have been finding the spiky and he's not working. That's unfortunate. But at least we did find an acid pie. It's a ghost face. I think Pennywise, this might be the first time we've seen him in stores. I feel like I may have seen it. I gotta get back to I know these are awesome. I wish we had somewhere to put one. Yeah. Got several variants of the costumes. Here's one of the adult size chromes. It's not a bad copy. And didn't get one of these that was working last year. If you remember, mine actually didn't work when I got home. Thinking about picking up one of these. So that was another trip to Spirit and still no glow in the dark or metallic ghost face mask. But they did have some new killer clowns from outer space stuff. No wall hangers, no black light pops, but they did have the side steppers and finally the acid pie. With the side steppers, I know they're desirable, but spiky wasn't working. And I think that that's just kind of a common thing. Most of them that have popped up just don't work right out of the store. So uh, I guess it's a manufacturing issue, but I still didn't pick up either of those just due to a lack of space. But the acid pie is something that I kind of wanted to pick up. And at first sight, this has to be one of the most ridiculous like merchandise items just because it's a big foam pie and that's it. As far as it being an acid pie, nothing really discerns it from any other pie like being Killer Clowns from Outer Space themed other than the fact that they stamp the Killer Clowns from Outer Space logo right on the foam or the cream. We are going to go ahead and crack this open and take a look at it, but uh, 
if anything, this would be kind of a cool piece to take to a convention and get signed the way that the box is and just with that much white space on the top of it. This seems like something really, really cool to have signed by the Killer Clowns or the Kyoto Brothers if you're going to conventions. But outside of that, it's kind of a wacky merchandise item. That's pretty much all I picked up, but Jennifer did pick up something and we're going to go ahead and show you guys that now. So I got the uh, TCM door cover. I got this specifically for my stepfather. He absolutely not only loves Leatherface as his favorite horror icon, but he also was a former haunt actor at Chinchuba Haunted House in Louisiana, and he was Leatherface there. But yeah, that's pretty much it for Spirit. We're probably going to go check out Ultimate Party real quick, see what we can find there, then go grab some food, and then it's time for Halloween to end. They got Chucky on the door. Chucky on the door, man. Door Chucky. The tiny skeletons, the tiny oogie boogie, and the tiny pumpkin king, and the tiny Sally, and the tiny Jack. Oh, I just now noticed down here. They've got the Santa Mira Silver Shamrock Novelty sign. This is the wood sign Ooh. by Trick or Treat Studios. Not a bad time. Only 30 bucks. Mm, it looks nice. It's pretty awesome. Ooh, it's Has it got a button? You press it. Maybe the skull? You press Try the skull. Me. It's supposed to be the press thing, but it don't work. No, the try me doesn't work, but that's a pretty hefty penny. Uh, it must be pretty cool, I guess. Maybe it's a function. Well, they've got the Trick or Treat Studios Halloween Ends mask right there. And that is a side tag copy. That's the first one of those I've seen in person. Looks very, very impressive. I think Trick or Treat Studios did a great job with the finishing on these copies. Some of the best stock masks they've done. From what I've heard, they are a larger size. They're supposed to be a larger size than the Kills and 2018 masks, but I haven't tried one on yet. These things look awesome in person. 
mine finally just shipped out yesterday, so hopefully sometime soon we'll be able to get a much closer look at one of these in person. Here's your makeup, application, applicator sponges, blood of all kinds. Uh, there's some in that area, I believe. Some Mehron Fantasy FX and stuff like that. Back here, they've got the entire Cedar of Chucky set. The Good Guy doll, Billy Puppet, Conjuring Annabelle, some Frankensteins. That's the first time I've seen one of the like mini busts by Trick or Treat Studios in person too, and they're actually pretty damn cool. A bunch of different figures up there. And just a whole slew of all these crazy different, I guess, steampunk-ish masks. Up here we've got some ghoulies and some gremlins still hanging out. Well, Ultimate Party had some decent stuff, but I decided not to pick up any masks. But we did go ahead and go pick up some food. I actually got some Wingstop. I tried the new chicken sandwich and, uh, you know, it's fine. It's a chicken sandwich. Any kind of a chicken sandwich just tossed in a wing sauce of your choice is pretty decent, so can't really complain there. And uh, now it's time for Halloween Ends. So without further ado, it's showtime. Well, for me, not for you, but I'll let you know what we think after we get out. Uh. Well, we just watched Halloween Ends, and if you're watching this and you haven't seen the movie, maybe stop. I'm going to go a little bit into spoiler territory. I'm not going to do a full review, but I'm going to give a little bit of spoilers, so just, just stop watching if you haven't seen the movie already. Wow, that was a movie. Um, guys, I, I don't even really know where to start here. Uh, 2018, I really enjoyed. I think it was fantastic. Kills. I feel like Kills even got a lot more hate than what it should have. Um, really, the trailer did a lot of the damage there. But overall, it was an enjoyable movie. And I think people that see ends are going to love Kills in comparison. Because what the fuck was this movie, guys? Look... Like I said, I like the others. I enjoy pretty much every single Halloween entry and can really, really enjoy myself watching it, except for Resurrection. That one's a little bit out there. But what the fuck? Like, okay, I like the imposter killer idea, I guess. You know, I'm fine with that in Friday the 13th. A lot of people hated that. They hated it back then. It didn't do well. I thought it was fine. I actually enjoy Friday 5 quite a bit. Those movies don't bother me. I didn't even really dislike Corey's character in this movie. I, it just seemed like kind of out of nowhere. They don't give us really anything to go off of as to why he does the things he does really beyond the town. is just kind of fucking with him a little bit. And he looks in Myers eyes once they don't tell us why is Myers in the sewers below this fucking bridge? Why, when did he get down there? We see one quick thing where it states that his house was demolished, so we get that he's not at the Myers house anymore. But at the end of the movie, he's just standing in the Myers house. What the fuck happened in between then and now? A little bit of context clues would be greatly fucking appreciated. Why did Myers go from being able to withstand all that damage and just get right back up, keep fighting, still just as strong as can be, taking out that whole fucking mob, to now he's just a weak old man in the fucking sewers? Why were his powers dwindling? Why did fucking, why did Corey's, what, what the fuck happened? I don't understand. Corey's pushing around Michael Myers like he's a fucking teenager. Corey, who's kind of getting his ass kicked by teenagers, is pushing around Michael Myers. I, I, I know this is a knee-jerk reaction, guys. I almost did this with the original Halloween and with Halloween Kills, but I prefer to actually wait to the DVD releases, see what extended scenes, you know, they have to give us or whatever. Uh, learn a little bit more about the production, stuff like that. Really let it soak in. Maybe, maybe with time I'll enjoy this movie more, but what the fuck? There's barely any Michael in this movie. Barely any Michael. You see more of Michael Myers in the promotional material for this film than you see him in the movie. And with what the, the story went nowhere, <laughs> nowhere that I thought it would. I, I was going to go ahead and try to get my Halloween Kills review out before this and just didn't. I've been too busy working on these other videos you guys have been seeing. But I was kind of hoping 
that Ben Tramer would come in. I even kind of made the joke that Michael's going to have Lori in the end of the street. He's about to kill her. When all of a sudden, headlights, Michael turns his head, gets hit by a vehicle, pushed down the end of the street, into a van. Boom, it explodes. Michael burns to a crisp, actually pinned to a vehicle, burns to a crisp, and steps out of the vehicle. Who is it? Ben Tramer. That's another thing. This whole trilogy. You could have brought back Ben Tramer. What I liked about this trilogy the most is Ben Tramer didn't die. Ben, good old Ben was still alive and well. And maybe I guess it's a good thing that you kept his name out of the fucking movie because of how it ended up. But good grief. We get references to almost every other thing in the entire Halloween franchise. But no Ben Tramer? No, I mean, what do we get? I think maybe one line in 2018? Maybe? Or no, no, no. Was it Kills, I think? Hawkins says, oh, but you had the sweets for Ben Tramer? And then we get no Ben Tramer in this? I... I feel like Laurie and Hawkins would have ended up together after the events of the last movie regardless instead of at the end of this fucking movie. 2018 and Kills, I think, work extremely well together. I don't dislike those films at all, really. There are little things like peanut butter on my penis every now and again that really kind of, you know, take me out of it. But overall, I feel like those movies very well done. I can enjoy them thoroughly all the way through, whether it's for a nice slasher film or just, you know, a fun Halloween flick. This movie... I don't know. It, it had me there in the beginning. I was feeling it. I was enjoying it. And it just kind of fucking really didn't go anywhere. I don't know. Maybe, maybe my opinions will change over time soaking it in. Yet again, this is just my first time watching it. But I can't say that I have been more disappointed leaving a theater than I, since I've seen Sinister 2. That was the most disappointing thing I've seen in theaters. This is probably number two and that's really disappointing because i'm a huge halloween fan as you guys know and uh this is just kind of sad to see i don't really know what else to say so i'm gonna quit babbling i'm sure there's plenty of other youtubers who are gonna do more in-depth reviews they're gonna nitpick the entire movie apart people who have seen it multiple times already even but i just wanted to give you guys my quick thoughts but regardless hope you guys enjoyed this nice little vlog uh, it was a pretty decent day and thank you all for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and all the other videos we put out so far this season. Love you all. Thank you for watching and see you next time.